Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffer. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Lights out! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Max Pack, color Russia. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Good stick. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu, 
body is in it. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. And I think many This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of... Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Attacking on bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Nicely done. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he works hard to get up again here, oh, but he will execute a trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent that? You gotta be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips in all kinds of different scenarios. All right, so somehow, some way, we will fight onward. There was a big liver shot there that buckled his opponent. DC, here's your replay. Nothing is worse. Nothing is worse than taking one of those shots right to the liver. It shuts everything down. You got to be so tough to stay standing after you take a strike like that. All right, round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Ooh, blocks the shot. Starting to do some. Oh! oh he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! 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 Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Look at the turtle in that kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Keeps the elbow there. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here. What a fantastic thruster. Great takedown. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to... Getting tighter. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Now the guy's got arm bar. He's attacking it on him. Gotta be careful, arm bar. Oh, 
continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And he's out. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Oh, right to the mouth. That right hand hurt him a little bit. the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Punches there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. What a fight. Wow! What a nice little shot, Lance. Shots you hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to it. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. If he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Good punch, Lance. A beautiful body kick. Oh, nice Huge right elbow hand. there. Pursuer of the submission. And attack an armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ he was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it eventually his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission he did that and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Islam Bokachev.